Hello, Big Ben Community College Scholars. My name is Rhonda Kitchens. I am your librarian and also your instructor. This course begins on September the 21st, which is three hours away from when I'm recording it. Isn't it great that we've had a couple of days without the smoke? What I need you to do most immediately is come in and introduce yourself. Um, I have three questions. Please answer them. I also want to show you what the final project is. It's an eight source project that you annotate and it's going to match a thesis question that you come up with and narrow down. And it's going to have a little smattering of keywords and a few other things. It may look monstrous, but guess what we're doing? We're working on it every week. Every week you will have annotation project update. Most of this course is going to be about the research, about going out there and finding things and looking at different resources that I've put together for you. Um, let's go module two is about to, I'll make sure I pop this out. Sorry guys. And, um, what you'll be looking for is the little, um, quizzes and other things you need to turn in. I need you to take a plagiarism quiz. You will know nothing about this in theory, unless you're just bringing it in. And it's just a pretest. It's just some things I want to know. And then I want you to build a research topic, initial question, keywords in one resource. Now you're thinking, I'm not sure I know how to do those things, or you're very capable. It doesn't matter. Go there, follow all the questions, fill in all the blanks. That's what I need you to do right now. Then we'll go into developing a topic more, which means you may change this up here, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be the right the first time. What we're working on is repetition practice and skill building. So number two, we're going to really talk about that topic. I'm going to throw in a little bit of a quiz because I want you to understand one of the big requirements for your topics is actually reading a rubric. So important. So very important. So then we'll have module two. What? Yes, you'll be working on your final project. Yes, again. And so on and so forth. It will go through. You'll do a few quizzes. You'll do a module annotation project update and probably up to about here, things will be going fairly well for you. Here it may get a little challenging, but I want you to know our style is a working relationship. I can't address individually, I mean, excuse me, address as a whole all the things you don't know. So when these things go sideways on you or you don't understand something, you're feeling a great deal of anxiety. That is an indication you need to reach out to me and tell me what you need. I've put together this section on APA and I'll probably change a lot. I found what I thought was the best video, but you know what? It may not be the best one for you. And sometimes it's hard for me not to understand what you don't know and don't see your work. I'm not grading you on what you don't know. I'm grading you on what you're building. So I hope you understand that because once you turn something in, we can work on it. That's not the end of the process. We can make it better. We could get all the points for it. So don't worry. I just need you to do the work. Um, you're going to have a big break here. I want you to be working on the vinyl project. You'll be doing this on the 16th. And then the big project will be due on December the 7th. I'm not going to be assigning you anything for that Thanksgiving week other than hoping you're working on your project. So. If you have questions, reach out to me. I can't wait to work with you. I already have some Zoom appointments set. I'll meet with you every day, every week, whatever you need. You just reach out to me. Uh, this is Rhonda Kitchens. I'm your librarian and your instructor. And you can reach out to me about other class research as well. I can't wait to work with you because this is what this class is. We're working together to build the best annotated bibliography you've ever built in your life.